Y'all, I've been a bad, bad girl. <laughs> Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. <sighs> yep, you saw the title. An Ollie's Yarn Haul. Not just a little one either. Oh my God. It, it does not pay for me to have a day off during the week. Okay. What had happened was... Uh, the end of the year, we sometimes get random. We have to schedule all of the days off we have. We can't carry things over to the next year where I work. Fine and good. All that was left was like a random Thursday. Okay, not a problem. I can have a day off during the week. Got some errands run that day. Um, <clears throat> went ahead since I knew I had the day off. Got my booster scheduled. This girl is on Pfizer! Yeah. Got my three shots now. So that's all good. <laughs> Just my arm is sore. That's it. Um, but also, in that part of town, there's an Ollie's. Oh, yeah. It's bad. I don't mean bad like, you know, world's going to end bad. I mean bad like, oh, my God, I got too much yarn bad. Because in addition to this little haul, little haul, um... I still have my order from, from Hobie Hobby coming in that I ordered to pretty much do my temperature blanket project for next year that I'm going to be talking about sometime in the next couple of weeks. So let's start going over some of the things I bought. I did get another one of these really cute projects. I gave one away as a gift. This may go as a gift as well to somebody else. This is to make Mickey. And you have the book to get to create six different characters. All these guys on the back. Yeah. It's cute. It's a super cute package. Um, so, yeah, this will probably go in a giveaway, but here we are. Also, some things that are yarn adjacent. Towels. All Disney towels. They come in two packs, which will make four of the towels the way I do them. Hello, Pooh. Here's another cute one with Winnie the Pooh and Piglet That's with the balloons. That's just super cute. And two of them, two packs that is, of, now these are nice cotton towels too, like flower sack towels. Spring is here. I mean, obviously it's winter time now. Despite my attire, yes, I am still wearing um, my creepy fun Halloween stuff because I'm kind of a creepy fun Halloween kind of girl. Yes, my fall wreath is still up. I will likely not even put anything Christmassy up. I might put some winter stuff up, though. But anyway, spring is here, even though it isn't. And another spring is here with slightly different colors with a bow because, you know, it's so sweet. Anyway, that's the towel portion of this program. Let me get out these three because they kind of go together. And I was the one shoving things in bags, so hopefully... Oh my God. Now, one thing, if you go to Ollie's, look at the price tags. And if you don't like the price tag on it, look at another one because it might have a different price tag. These are Caron baby cakes. And let me tell you, they are really, really soft. This is in the color pink lemonade. It's a medium four. Yeah, it's a good size. It's a decent four. Machine washable and dryable. It says 82% acrylic, 18% nylon. 240 grams these are 512 meters each now this is in the summer stripes collection although i do believe this is all just pink lemonade i don't see any stripage in it at all 2.99 although i said be careful and look at it there because some of the cakes were marked 5.99 hubby helped me find the third one he's like oh there's another one with that price i'm like really you're helping me do this Okay, so I've got three of those. And I got a bunch of heat wave. There's actually the second bag too, because I found that working with it is actually quite nice. I made a couple of uh, bush tracker beanies, the crochet bush tracker beanies in some blues. And then I sent them to Ashley of um, Stitch and Ain't Easy for her collection. She collects for a shelter there. And, uh, yeah, I might have to make some more because that was actually fun to work up. This is Heat Wave 
in the color ultraviolet. I love the purples. This one may actually end up being mine. Um, in the variegated, you've got, oh, for Pete's sake, in this heat wave stuff, I, I don't know what the hype is on that. It is 100 grams, 150 meters, 100% acrylic. It's a four weight. It is, they work up very nicely, easy to work with. And yeah, this are ultraviolet though. I'm kind of digging all the purples, but I am a purple loving girl because it kind of goes, oh, wait, that's not the one. That's a different color. Huh. Well, there's a purple one around here somewhere that that goes with. I also got this one called Luggage. I don't know why the color is Luggage, but this is also a heat wave. I'm trying to find the weights and stats on this one because I think it's different being a solid. But I think their sticker is covering it up. So there you go. When I find it on the other ones, I'll read it to you. It's actually, yeah, that's more correct. It's actually a very rich burgundy kind of a color called luggage. I thought it was kind of nice. Oh, and this is another variegated color in the heat wave called water park. I love this and it looks so good with this one called blue skies. That's the color combination that I used to make those hats that I sent and I really adored it and there will be more made or more of something made. Um, more heat wave. This one is in the color red hot and boy is it that is a nice bright red You're going to be seeing still look up. Oh, there it is 100 grams 181 meters Yeah on the solids too. So there you go. Oh And there was other stuff that was not heat wave <laughs> And I think I had some of these the last time I went to Ollie's because why would I just get you know one time Caron simply soft party these are each 85 grams 150 meters this color oh for pete's sake 99 percent acrylic one percent metallic 150 meters what is the blasted color ah they covered it with the sticker because of course they did i can see the other languages sage it's some kind of a sage but y'all the sparkle is everything with these it is a nice green like a sage green but with the sparkles okay and sugar and cream scrub off i don't know if that's the same as sod off but they had oh and by the way these uh the the simply soft parties were 2.99 and the uh heat waves were 2.99 as well for those this uh, scrub off is $1.99. This is in the color banana. I got two of them. They're a four weight. I think these will make some nice washclothy, dishclothy kind of things. I like to use the washcloth with the scrubby stuff for exfoliators. They work really nicely. It is 100% cotton. Uh, 75 grams, 97 meters. And these were, like I said, a buck 99 each. Yeah, I think those will be fun. Now, how am I going to do this? I'm going to have to pause this to rearrange this stuff because I ain't got room. Sorry about the break and move, y'all. We have gone to bag number two. I've done a little rearranging to make it a little easier. Oh, and when you're going to Ollie's looking for yarn, if you find some, don't expect that to be all there is. I found yarn on four different end caps in no relation to each other in the store plus tucked away on an aisle near the bath mats. And that was at the Ollie's in Tacoa, Georgia. Dudes, if you want to sell your stuff, put it together. Like, really? I, sorry. Oh, yes, I forgot. I didn't really forget. But yes, this Huga Charm. Oh, oh, my goodness. How many colors of Huga Charm did I find? I think it's just these three. There might be a fourth one in here because even though it was just yesterday, I don't remember. First, look at that sparkle. Oh my gosh. The color is more about like this, but in order to see the sparkle on camera, it's got to be up close. It is, it's not like, you know, cashmere soft or anything, but it is garment worthy. As Crystal Bagaday says, yeah, it's scarfable. I would do that. Um, these ended up being $4.99 a piece because they used to be $10.99. These are pretty big skeins. Um, 
oh where are the deets on this the color on this pretty blue one is called eclipse here it is 198 grams which is 395 meters and this is hookah charm 97 percent acrylic three percent other fibers those mysterious other fibers are in everything that has sparkle hmm anyway i'm pretty sure i got two of these i'll find out when i dig into this bag more this color same stats this is evening star oh my gosh i just want to make all the things and wear all the things with this with these sparkles um i think this says it's a four weight or is it a three I don't know what it says. Made in Turkey, by the way. I know I didn't mention that, but pretty much everything I've found has been made in Turkey. Yeah, it's a medium four. It says it uses a 5.5 millimeter hook. I would go along with that. So not bad. This color here is Shooting Star. Yes, I am pleased with punch with those finds. Um, also, oh, here's some more of the heat wave in that luggage color that we saw before. And this is the purple one that I said meant matched with the other purples. This one is called beach bag. Oh, and this is that other variegated. I knew I had some more in there. Aren't they going to go nice together? Yeah. Beach bag and ultraviolet. I'm in love with my yarn. Some more of that beach bag. This is more of that heat wave and it's called radio. It's just a nice gray and it feels so nice and it's very, very squishy. Just drop the heat wave thing. Get rid of that. But this yarn is nice. Okay. What else is in this bag? Okay. More of the radio. Mm -hmm. More of the Huga charm. And yes, that H-Y-G-G-E is Huga. <laughs> that is what the, what the word is. I, I don't know why. I know there, there's some meaning behind it. I don't know. But I learned the correct spelling by watching Garden State Gardener. Yeah. Ooh. And I had not seen these in the heat wave. These are both... Let's see. Put that up there so you can look at that. Um, what is the color? Campfire. I think they should just call it camo stuff. But, you know. Yeah. Looks kind of like camo. I think I know who some of this is going to get made for. Uh, some more of the heat wave. And this one is in Summer Night. Dude, it's black. Okay, it's not even charcoal. This stuff is straight on black. Summer Night. And more. God, how much of this heat wave did I find? And I left some. Trust me, I left a lot. Um, this is Seaweed. Okay. Same stats as the others in the heat wave. If nothing else, I'll be making stuff for donations because I do enjoy doing all of that. More of that red hot and more of the evening star in the huga. But that's not all. But wait, there's more. Actually, this is about the end of it. Um, I also got something that I have never tried before. It's a wrap hues. I love those colors together. There's, it's deep dark blues and reds and a little bit of like gray in there. The reds go into some burgundy. They are really, really pretty. It's super soft, very squishy, but, but it is oh so thin. Yeah, this is a two weight, a two fine. And boy, is it. These are $4.99 a piece. Uh, however... This is, all right, let's, where'd the stuff go? Here we go. 150 grams in each cake. That's not bad, not bad at all. Uh, and with each 150 grams, you are actually getting 570 meters. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Probably make something light. Maybe it'll go in a giveaway. Who knows? But I love that. Look at those purple. It's purple. Come on. 50% acrylic, 50% cotton. So that's an interesting blend there. It's got knitting needle. Oh yeah, crochet hook, 2.75 millimeter. No, there'll be, there'll be something bigger used and it's going to be lighter and airier because yeah, we're not going that small. Machine wash cold, gentle cycle, dry flat. Do not bleach, do not iron, do not dry clean. There you go. 
but that is just oh it's teeny it's so teeny but it's so pretty that is all of the yarn and yarn adjacent things also bought a pizza stone uh, the one that we had, we had kept in the oven and not taken it out for several years, you know, in the oven that we use all the time. And it finally broke. I think something spilled on it and it went, Kr. yeah. So we got another one. It was seven bucks. Ollie's is hit or miss for deals. Sometimes you look at stuff and it's like, that's eh, cheaper at Walmart. But then I also, in the grocery section, got big jars of the minced garlic for like $3.99, which is cheaper than Walmart. You never know. Books are, are hit or miss. There are a lot of knitting books there. Knitting is magic. I am not ready to delve into the magical arts at this time. So I left the knitting books there. But there were a lot of knitting books. Um, yeah. Everybody else is doing things about <laughs> giving and Christmas and Vlogmas. And I'm buying all the yarn. Oh my god. I have to find room for it now. I'm looking around and I'm like... I don't have enough cubes for this. Yeah. Anyway, that's my haul. Thanks for coming by today and enjoying my overspending thing. But I will be using it eventually, using it or giving it away. Because, you know, when I do a giveaway, it's it's not little. So next giveaway will be at a thousand subscribers, unless there's a little mini doody doohickey doo somewhere. But yeah, 1,000 subscribers. I'm over 700 now. Thank you, guys. I'm as surprised as anybody. Um, so if you like what you see here, if you like my craziness, because it is a thing, uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment if you would. I do enjoy the comments, even the ones that are just like, here, I left a comment for you. That's my kind of snark. Thank you. <laughs> see y'all very, very soon. And take care and shop if you, if you can. If you've got an Ollie's, what did you find?